Hey guys, and welcome to Day Glue today. Today we are going to be showing some PvP builds that you should be worried about during launch. So the first one that I have right here, this one is a bow build slash PvP build so that you can actually have almost everything all around. This could also be war with the new heavy armor of this variant, the Raider Heavy. But personally, uh, a bowman is going to be more of an assistance more than anything when it comes to fighting and statutation and everything else like that. And since strength is modified as well as bowmanship, the best build that I can actually see and perceive is actually 40 strength, uh, 20 accuracy, yeah. and you have an equal mixture between vitality, um, encumbrance, and grit. So when you're firing, you're going back and forth. Most likely at this current stage, it is not really the highest value. I would honestly see this as a pursuer target more than anything, so that you can actually run up to somebody, PvP with them, get that kind of stuff, be the agitator, be the aggressor for this situation. Now we have the shaman armor. My personal favorite for when you are broke as fuck and you need to actually get the stuff going for your raid or anything else like that. It only requires regular hide to make because when you make it, you just need the padding for it on a regular armor bench. Not even an improved armor's bench so you can get that plus 5 strength that you would be looking for especially if you're a PvPer just starting off and you have a slight small base that you're going to be able to have. So when you're going to be moving, modifying, getting everything else done, this is currently the best meta for that kind of armor set. So that a tattoo is pretty good. So this is like your end game or one of the end game sets that you could have. It is Silent Legion and Simeon armor that you can be able to make in game. So you have the Silent Legion, chest for strength, yeah. gloves for vitality, pants, boots, and helmet is also for vitality. So that you can have an even blend stat mixture even though you are a literal tank. This is one of the best combos to get 50 strength if you're going for a strength build out of any kind of situation so that you can be able to be a tank god, an anchor, a point man, so that you can be able to knock out and kill as many enemies as possible in any PvP situation. So with these stats, it's very important that you have at least aloe, okay? Aloe, aloe soup, something like that so you can take advantage of the 40 per tree having a war tattoo and a gray lotus potion also helps tremendously in most situations now if you don't have like the gray lotus or have access to the lotus this is a great secondary option which is silent legion and then slave armor this is just all stats that are for strength every single stat for heavy armor will be for strength is one of the best builds that you can possibly have if you just want pure strength, nothing else, just kicking ass and taking names with all forms of strength. Now, as you saw right there, I took a Grey Lotus. Now I have max stats that you can possibly have in the game, just going around back and forth. Now, if you're noticing, I'm actually using a controller. So in PC, I've seen a lot of people mix up between mouse and keyboard and controller. And this has been very interesting to me because having a controller on PC is going to have some advantages. And one of the biggest advantages to having a controller on PC is that you can look behind you without pressing V. So you can literally just move one direction and have everything set up in this kind of format. It's one of the easiest and best ways for combat when it comes to looking behind and then doing those glyph turns immediately right behind you. So even though, yes, it offers better cinematic shots because you don't have the big old hot bar at the bottom, it also gives a great advantage when it comes to PvPing. Now, if you're accustomed and attuned to mouse and keyboard, I'm not gonna tell you to switch because if you just switch yourself, uh, you're not going to be able to get used to it because again, it's getting used to something that is different. Now console, for the people that are gonna have Xbox and PS4 come release, it's going to be a very big advantage. And fights on a controller 
are going to be slightly different than fighting on a mouse and keyboard. So the main difference that you can tell in between the two fighting styles is that one person is going to instantly glyph right behind you and they're going to always look behind in certain situations. While on the mouse and keyboard situation, they have to press V or they would rebind their keys to like their mouse or like a gamepad or something like that. So it, it depends on who you're fighting and how you're fighting now more than anything and how you're going to approach. Besides the Mitra Stick, which is going to get nerfed on launch, because it has the stats of a two-handed hammer, which they listed it on a dev stream, that's one thing that I'm not going to consider for launch date builds. Launch date builds are going to be something completely different than what you have here. Spears, of course, are going to be viable more than anything. Two-handed weapons are getting more viable because they increase the attack speed slightly. And then also the battle axes. The battle axes are probably one of the most vital equipment pieces that you have. As well as double daggers for the flip animation so that you can get out of cripple situations because of iframes. Now this is kind of like your complete final Omega build when it comes to being a complete troll. It's the Stygian Warrior Armor. And I also have a Blade of Hawk and the agility shield it's one of the most craziest combos that i've ever seen when it comes to pvp now you not only have infinite running ability with this right now which is probably going to get patched but when you're double jumping in the air you're regening your values on top of everything else now i'm just going straight for the agility perk Again, the agility perk is what's going to matter during most of these fights when you are in this kind of build stat. This build stat is one of the craziest that I've ever seen, and it actually does work, and I've killed some people with this stat. And all you do is you literally just wait for a little bit of your stamina to go away, and then you just hover and you have a delay double jump so that you can regen all of your stam right back for when you're going into a PvP situation. So the person that is chasing you might think that you're out of stam, but you have full stam during your whole fight. And that is one of the most biggest advantage things that you can possibly do. You're probably gonna be called an exploiter, but it's a current mechanic in the game that you regen your stam while you are having the stumble jump. So not only can you roll in heavy armor with the 40 ability perk tree, but with the 50 perk tree with this current set because it does require two legendary items and then it requires a specific armor set and an agility tattoo it's a very end game uh kind of build more than anything so what most people are going to do is they're going to deal with the endurance build that i showed with the archer build as well as the darketa build which are going to be the two biggest ones unless you have end game loot. That's the biggest thing out of all of them is end game loot. Until they fix the Mitra stick, most people are rocking the Mitra stick and going around and just one combo killing people with 50 or 40 strength. So you just got to be aware of that in the current situation of stable and test live before launch dates of the game. But this is launch date gear that you're going to be able to see on top of everything else. Now, I'm also going to be launching uh, DTube as well as a Patreon that is going to be for my videos because YouTube ad apocalypse is still affecting all gamer content videos. And you definitely need to watch out for everything that you're going to be seeing coming up when it comes to this game because this game is just going to be chock filled with content and it's such a breath of fresh air that they are adding so much to the combat as well as fixing a lot of the issues that have been plaguing this game since ea have a good one guys see you next time